I think you would make a fire politician because you just be. <laughs> he gonna be the nigga that's gonna there. always beat around the bush. They gonna be like, yo, what's going on with health care? So, I feel like we care for your health. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty Mac, got a letter, choose Jimmy Hills, need a fortune. We put numbers on the board, spin the wheel, say they ghost, but I know they really just a kid for real. Hey, it's BBC on Rock. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Niggas, so you got to let her choose Jimmy Hills. Don't let it go over your head, though. <laughs> no, sure y'all copy that Marcus Arroyo. God's, God's will. will. Shout out to Marcus on that, man. Y'all go tune in. Best project yet. I'm saying it. Or at least it's my favorite. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to. Bro, they all good. That's the point I was trying to make in the chat. Like, they all, like, like elite, bro. It's hard for me. I'm not going to lie. Just I'm choose one, bro. I think well, I, might, I might still have Silky. I think this is his most well-balanced, though, project. Yeah, I feel like it, he got into a whole nother bag with this. Even got to carry some, on duffel. This London flow on one of them shit. Somebody like, this is crazy. <laughs> but yeah, man, y'all go tune in to my guy Marcus Araya if y'all haven't already. He has dropped a new project. It's called God's Will. And just to let y'all know, if this is your first time tuning into Marcus, please you won't be disappointed. Please, please, please dial back. Start from the beginning. Because you don't want to be that one that soon as the the ball gets rolling, you start yeah. going on they old shit. Like, damn, this nigga. He, he, listen, he been, heat, in, he, he be like been in your face for a minute, you heard? Go tune in. For sure, for sure. But yeah, welcome to the Goodfellas Podcast. It's the Goodfellas Podcast. Episode 188. Yes, sir. Niggas on point. This is below. Ron. Oh, my bad. D- DJ, one up. One and up. that nigga. One up. That, that, that could be anybody, honestly. Don't could... worry. We got some more pulling up. But yeah, man. Um, What's going on, guys? It's the, it's the finals. Two game sevens is happening today. One of them just happened. It was the mm-hmm. Knicks and the Pacers. Sorry, New York. Pacers is moving on. Sorry, New York fans. Next is to choose between Minnesota and Denver. Um, Who y'all got for the, for the playoffs overall? I ain't going to lie. I, as much as I want the Timberwolves to win, I think they're going to lose. And I think the Nuggets might win again. But who you think is going to take it all? The Nuggets. Okay. Yeah. So, so far, we got the Pacers and Celtics coming up next. And mm-hmm. depending on how this next game seven goes, they will be facing Dallas. That, Ladies and gentlemen. Decides who I got going to, going all the way. All the way. If the Nuggets beat uh, the Wolves, I got Nuggets going. If the ma- if um they lose, uh to the wolves, I got, got the, the Mavs wolves, going all the way. Okay. You got the Mavs taking. It I, yo, all the I ain't going to hold you. Listen, man, bro, the Timberwolves not fucking with Kyrie and, and Luka, bro. Kyrie's been shitty. I, yeah, I, I, Kyrie I'm gonna call a spade a spade. Bro. Kyrie has been not like I don't know what it you is. Think he's gonna be like this the, the whole time. I, I'm ho- I'm hoping not. Uh, we I'm, we've seen Kyrie enough to know where he be. He be like, ah, oh, come on, and then the the further they go into the playoffs, this nigga. Unlocks a new character. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I believe yeah. that. I believe that. I, he's just been having me disappointed from a um, a ticket point of view. Hey, yo. <laughs> so, hey, some of my, yo. Some of my <laughs> Stop messing with that man, he's Neil, been bro. Fucking, 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 fucking my shit's up, bro. Like, it's like you don't know what it's going to be. Like, one game, the nigga gave you nine. <laughs> then the next Yo, game, it's ass. like 25. But it's like, bro, come on, son. You know that you are that man. So it's like, why the lack right now? Like, it's not because I, I truly don't feel like, oh, he's just being guarded well or like he's just, nah. Like, just be out the game. Like, Yeah, he, he be just be anything. out the loop to where it's like, uh, he realized it's fourth quarter, yeah. four minutes left. All right, now let me give him eight points. Like, nigga, where was this <laughs> <laughs> since the beginning? Him so. But it's so, like, that also show you, like, he really liked that. Because it's yeah. like, if I want to turn this shit on, I'll yeah. turn it on. I, I'm just kick cat cool. And, like, yeah. Luca's doing Luca, so it is what it is, feel me? Um, but, yeah, I, I, 
I would say for me, um, I I hope Minnesota because I'm oh Ant Man has been doing his damn thing. So nah, he is. Ant Man has been they, doing. Pro- like they better not let them. They better not let him win. Cause if they let him win, yeah, it's over. He's never setting up. I, and I wouldn't shut up either if I was him. I, I wouldn't either, but <laughs> everybody is going to hate him every time they see him. I don't blame him, bro, because the, the nigga really just young and just kicking. Like, yeah, thanks. Like, literally kicking. Like, Not and, in the next few years, this shit about to be his. And I, I, I be understanding, like, the comparison I to hope. Jordan. We not going to say he is Jordan, but, like, no. he got a style that, like, I see in certain plays where it's like, Looking from, you know, like looking at throwbacks of Jordan, you just kind of see a reflection, like a little bit. Like, it's certain ways where he handles the ball, where it's like, damn, that nigga kind of look like Jordan from. I- I'm just going off of shit that I've seen from clips. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really wasn't in part of the Jordan game, so I can't see and say, like, down to the T. But I see why people compare him. I don't. You ever seen the I clip? Do. Yeah. You still you don't play like Jordan? Yeah. Oh. If we play like Jordan, he'll play like Kobe. Do we play like, play like Kobe? I'm he saying nah, movement-wise. Nah, nah, nah. He, he moved. Kobe moved like, like, like Jordan. Kobe has his own like, yeah, style. Yeah, I feel like bro. Kobe got his own shit. My nigga. Did you but ever, then I did. They got like 30 yeah, yeah. minutes. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, like, but I don't know why. It'd I be still, like I, exact I, to the second. Yeah, but see, that's spot. just moments where you catch Kobe moving like Jordan. But then it's like Kobe still got his own. Shit, like you get what I'm saying? When I'm like Kobe yeah. reminds me of Kobe, even then, even on an athleticism level, like Ant Man kind of jump out the gym like Jordan. Kobe that's, yeah, really that's, jump to out me, the that's gym. really the only similarity. Me. Nah, they kind of they kind of handle nah, the I've ball seen the same like too. literally post moves and like <laughs> the way he's moving to get a shot. Like it just it, it's not giving a flashy and none of that. It's like I'm here to just get that bucket. Like I'm yeah. moving to it, but I don't know. Um. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say as to who I got. I I think I'm kind of on the fence of you. Where it depends on mm-hmm. how we'll this, this next game seven goes. Now, out of the Pacers and Celtics, who you got? Boston going. Celtics. Boston. I I always had Boston going going out the East. Yeah, Celtics. I don't even like them, but I'm just like I hate them niggas. Nah, I, 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 I'm kind of looking forward to, to Boston with the pieces because it's like the nigga Tyree's been talking his shit heavy on the heavy to, towards the Knicks. Um, you got TJ that kind of remind me of a Derek White, so it's like it's gonna be like good as like little lineups together when it comes to the Pacers. Might they might they might. They might make it like an interesting series because they got the pieces to do it, but I don't know. I, I do I feel like the Celtics. Oh, just to let y'all know, I don't know if y'all, y'all peeped it, but the Pacers actually, um, for the first time, had the highest shooting percentage in the NBA Finals. Like, bro, going into like oh, third quarter, it was like 75%. I think they finished at 67. Yeah, they had the highest. I'm not, I'm not a believer, bro. But yeah. nah, one thing I noticed with the Pacers was they made sure that they stayed on the fast pace. And that's mm-hmm. where they kept getting them oh, fucking leads on the Knicks. Because it's like, from beginning to end, like, all right, you might have just scored, but we're already on a fast break. Right, like, they inbounded and they get up. The yeah, court. like, I'm I'm shooting straight down. Like, I'm not even about to let, let y'all get a breather or none of that. Yeah. And that's the that's where the difference was when it came to that game. Um, But, yeah, that's, that's uh, we ain't going to get too much uh, yeah. as to with the, to the, with the finals. But, Shout yeah, that was just a couple fans. of our thoughts. Um. Of course, week? we all know due to what just happened. Wait, hold was, on, hold on, hold on. I, I was, I was just gonna say happy birthday to me because my birthday is two days ago. Yeah. Oh yeah, how was your trip, bro? Yeah, fuck y'all. How was your trip? Now nah, y'all care about me? Nah, go ahead. Talk about your parlays and your and your fucking tickets, motherfucker. A ticket was supposed to be your birthday money. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, nah, Kyrie. How was it though? <laughs> the fuck. Uh, it was cool for for those who care. I turned thirty this year, finally, finally in the club. Give it up for all the old heads around the world. You know what I'm saying? There's a few in the team already, so. But uh, yeah, uh, it was cool. I went out to New Mexico. Don't ask me why. New Mexico specifically, but um, 
Yeah, did some hot air ballooning, did some uh, mountain hiking, meth. <laughs> 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 I, I went to gangsta, hot air balloon. Yeah, that shit was cool. I went to see the. Uh, I did a Breaking Bad tour, and then they got like this little museum and exhibit. So I saw fake meth, little little blue, blue crystals. No, I'm saying that was cool. That's fire. But it was alright. Spent a couple days out there. Saw my brother. Cause this nigga's in the army, so he's out there. Around that way. I haven't seen that nigga in like four years. So That's for sure. It was cool. Shout out to you, my boy. Yeah. Speaking Thank of you, breaking bad, just real quick before we go into the next topic. Everybody, please, if you looking for a series that you have not watched, one of my top favorite series are Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad. Sons of Anarchy. Okay. I couldn't get into Sons of Anarchy, bro. Them first couple episodes, I'm like, this is some redneck That's shit. That's how I feel about Game of Thrones. But <laughs> nah. Sons, tough. Like Sons of Anarchy is Sons wicked. Is like that. Bro, I'm telling you. It's like how he felt with the first couple. That's how I felt with Game of Thrones until I got into Game of Thrones. And I'm like, damn. This, I tried this, Game of Thrones three times. I tried three three times, too, when it was like first coming out. And I'm, I'm telling you. It's shit. worth it. Like, if you really could get past... Cause no, everybody wh- said the first season. I'm not watching the whole season. So, look, this nah, is my thing the fir- with the Game of Thrones. The first season is a setup for and the rest of the show. And this is why I'm putting it as my number one. Game of Thrones is my number one because Game of Thrones literally will keep you on the edge to the point that... That's why I keep hearing. They don't give a fuck who they kill off. I keep hearing that. Yes. And when I tell you that it wasn't some shit where it was like trash like nah the way that person would be killed off it would just be savage OD Feed and then one the dogs. thing about Game of Thrones is shit that happened in the first season is relevant play a part somewhere down yeah. in like season 7 yeah the writing like, is too intricate everything down to the T of one nigga repeating his name and how he like it can't be that intricate. It was even Starbucks cups in the middle of the scenes. Yeah, they chill out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, BMF <laughs> don't is way past the Starbucks. <laughs> I ain't put that as my top show, buddy. Saying, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Um, those are some series I would suggest if you have never watched. Tune in if you want to binge watch some shit, especially because they are really like that, and it has seasons to where it's going to keep you locked. Yeah, in. you're gonna be locked in for a couple weeks. Yes, yes, for a couple you know what weeks. I'm saying, but um, how was y'all week though? Before, we want to talk about it. Mid yeah. work, yeah, job, yep, black. That's why I was Boy. even gonna bring it up. Sister. Salam alaikum. Now, back into it. It just hit the fan. What was a day or two ago? Two days? I think it was. Was it yesterday? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yes. Oh, Friday? Oh, Friday. Damn, was it yesterday? I no, think it was, it was Friday. Friday. It was Friday. It was Friday. Friday. All right. Um, yeah, because I was. As much as I. Travel. Like, it's. We just got to touch on it. So basically, long story short, if you haven't. I'm sure you did, but Diddy, um, there was a He video, did that shit. There was a video released of Diddy um, abusing Cassie inside of a hotel. Ladies and gentlemen. Um, the footage shows him throwing her on the ground, kicking her. Wow. Mind you, with, he's doing all of this in a towel. What's up with niggas in elevators? She never got, she never made it to the elevator. Jay-Z did like. Shorty in the elevator, nigga Quavo didn't like Shorty up in the elevator. Like, yeah, it's, I, it's always I, by the elevator. I think niggas be like feeling like, ah, right, it's just us in here, as if it's not a camera in the elevator. Nah, I think he did not give a nah, fuck. Nah, he didn't give a fuck. No, did he didn't give a fuck. Bro, he you walked gotta out remember, there like an angry yeah, dad, bro. In a hotel hallway down yeah. to the elevator, anybody could have just popped out. Not to sit here and say Diddy probably didn't buy the whole floor, but. But still, didn't still, he didn't give a fuck because you still know his cameras are, are around, and it's just sickening, bro. Because one, for all of that, my nigga, remember you was doing all that preaching when shit hit the fan and was talking about old niggas is looking for bread and money hungry. Ah, yeah. ah, right. wasn't no apology. Wasn't listen. I know throughout my relationship, I was because mm-hmm. uh, not for nothing. If you would have said apology like that, then yeah. where it's like. 
I I ain't gonna tell you exactly what happened, but I mm-hmm. know I did some foul things to her, and I do want to apologize. Yeah. Then it wouldn't be as like still bad, horrible. It's still but bad, but it's like at least it's something where it's like we knew you did something. We just yeah. don't have the proof. Well, he did. I hate this phrase, but like he was gaslighting the situation. Like, yes, yeah, very. And now he wants to make an apology. Didn't even actually say sorry to Cassie. He just was talking about like how he said, sorry I got caught. He was yeah, it was just a sorry I yeah. got caught. He was talking about how he was a low point in his life. I had to go Nobody to rehab. I'm fuck. sorry. I had I, to go get therapy. I just wanted a frost. And I'm not happy of my uh, actions. Like, like go, what? Yeah, I was disgusted with my actions then. Like, shut up. I'm disgusted now. Shut bro, up, bro. Like, I gotta ask God for his mercy. Listen, man. I, he just be want. Mercy and bro. grace. Nigga, what? Man, sorry, son. Like, come on. Yeah. I'm sorry. When I, I watch that shit, I'm like, she really, like, you watching it, she's like, all right, this is my one opportunity to go. Yes. That nigga, that nigga really ran out the room, and you can see he's still putting, like, to town Hotel. on type shit. Like, Hotel town. Like, he's like, oh, nah. Mind you, you could tell he'd been down that road before, because he did that shit like a pro in a towel. Like, <laughs> ran down like, the towel. towel never dropped, my nigga. Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For the people that were saying like why couldn't she just leave? This yeah, nah, that's it. yeah. I, I, is... I've I've never really understood why people say shit like that. People are dumb. You know what I'm saying? Because if you have a nigga willing to pull up on you in a fucking towel in public spaces and put his hands on you, you feel me? I'm I'm sure you're just gonna pack your shit and leave too. Bro, this shit really like come on, son. When you look at when you really look into it, it's like. You got certain people that is not okay with people leaving them. Like, and they will go to lengths of literally putting their hands on them because it's like, it's almost in a sense if I can't have you, no yeah. one can. You, you, you stuck with me. That's some toxic you, shit. We basically together till I say yeah. we're no longer together. Mm-hmm. And Ladies and gentlemen. Of, like, real shit, everybody just need to learn how to keep their hands to themselves. Women too. Like, we're not going to sit here and just act like it's something that doesn't exist. Women have a habit of putting hands on niggas. And thankfully, you have them niggas that's not putting hands back. They're just trying to de-escalate the situation, get away, walk away, so, just like how Cassie did. But it doesn't always work that way. Like, as yeah. you can see, you can literally do your best to, like, try to get away. But as one upset. How how is that easy when you got a motherfucker that's going to pull up on you? Yeah. Like, you could sit here and tell Cassie that, oh, yeah, you could have easily left, ah, uh, ah, uh, but when you got a nigga like Diddy who's powerful, yeah. like, Diddy literally is powerful, that's not an easy game, my nigga. Like, that's yeah. not something where you can yeah. just... Especially, like, in, in this case, when, let's say the person you with is responsible, like, for pretty much how you live as well, too, like... Is a source of your your resources, transportation, whatever. How are you gonna get away from a person like that? You know what I'm saying? You don't have nothing. Not saying that you know this is what uh, Cassie was dealing with, but that shit is hard. You feel me? If if this person is your one source for pretty much everything, and shit go left, what the fuck you gonna do? Yeah, especially like they say he's paid like like uh, fifty bands for the video for the hotel. Yeah, make sure like this shit don't come out type shit like. You're dealing with somebody that really feel like they're above everything. Clearly. Clearly. Like, there's no regard. He feels like he's above everything. And I just hate the fact that, like, we just got a glimpse. We got one day. Yeah. Like, that's not something that happened once. And that's all that there is. Like, when we hear about the rumors, the the stuff that was put in reports of what he was forcing her to do, having her do, like, yeah. that shit is not even the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. That's just something that happened, and I feel like as bad as it was, he was holding back. He was, because that lines up with, um, there's a, uh, also in the report, there's a report for getting a black eye, and there's a video of a black eye. That happened after that. Yes. Like, like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, bro, that's just he he went light and it's sad to say that because Cause it was still OD. Yeah, that shit was O D, my nigga. Like you're kicking someone on the ground. He 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 went as far as taking her bags back to the room. So I right, now you can't 
and this then come back drag her doing throwing a vase at her like it's oh um diddy just is a sick individual it's not something that we ain't know already um mm, facts so now what a lot of people are saying that being that that video is released, mm -hmm. they just feel like Diddy's going to go down that rabbit hole of, all right, you know what, everybody turning their back on me. Uh, there's no reason for me to keep my mouth shut as to what other Ooh. things was. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? squealing? I don't, I don't think so because he's, I still don't think he's going to go down for anything. Um, yeah, go down, honestly, like go to jail? Down. He's not. He's he's not going down. For, if he if he was in, if he was in position to like, oh shit, I'm about to go down for this shit. Yeah, I feel like he'd give up some names. But yeah, he, but he's not going down for none of this shit. Because you also got to remember, the Cassie shit does not have anything to do with what he's being accused of. So just because that video came out doesn't mean I. Right, this is more of a reason that he's definitely going to get caught uh go down for some shit it's a whole Man. different situation but now nah, they were just saying like this um already people that are starting to unfollow diddy yes nigga radioactive somehow this is all ken combs fault because <laughs> of that diss <laughs> somehow this is all his fault Jill king combs just tried to stand up for his pops i nigga say he was he coming at any nigga that says no diddy he was, but then no he, diddy. <laughs> he, he also was taunting the fans, and I think they might have uh, threw, threw it out there. Like, nigga, relax. He, he just like, blew he my shit because he talking about yeah, they raided that house, but they ain't raid the next door one where we keep everything at. Like, Stupid, my nigga, I, like, I hope you're lying because oh that God, was the bro. dumbest thing ever. Like, oh yeah, let's <laughs> tell them sick. on the track. That. Even if you moved that shit from that other house, yeah. did you just literally tell niggas, <laughs> you know, guess where I hit the stuff at? <laughs> nigga said you you didn't check the back where we got the cocaine and the fucking the Man, guns, nigga. If Diddy son know any better, leave he Fifty alone. He clearly don't know no better. Fifty <laughs> will take that shit to the to the grave, bro. Fifty will invest money in the beef. Yes, <laughs> like, literally invest yeah. money into it and still sue you at the same time. Like, Fifty's not that nigga that you even want to pay attention to. You want to just let him get his shit off because the second that you entertain him, you're gonna let him get more shit off. Like, right. You just gotta let Fifty say what the fuck he wants to say and leave it's him the be, fuck alone. Cause you're gonna be hiring private investigators for your ass, bro. He's he's a like honestly, Fifty's the troll captain. Like Fifty runs the shit of trolling, bro. So. At the end of the day, that nigga is not getting into a a booth and like wanting to make a whole diss track. Nah, them days nah. is over. <laughs> He's now part of his his dissing is literally trolling you. Like <laughs> and you'll never win because nobody has ever won really when it comes to the trolling part. Yeah. So if the nigga's not going literally battle you in a booth. You're not going to win against this nigga. Like, yeah, no. it's not much you can say about 50 that niggas haven't already said. But the more y'all keep having stuff that's going to come out, y'all just got... And then you can't this do nigga ammo. <laughs> like, you really I can't. remember the first the first time Meek and 50 had the issue because uh, 50 was posting the memes during the Drake shit. Mm -hmm. And Meek was like, y'all ran into 50 in prison. That nigga's not a game. <laughs> He's like, I want no problems. Yeah. That nigga, bro, a nigga got shot nine times. Yeah. I don't yeah, think he's see, afraid of anybody. See, the thing with 50, bro, is no, um, it's like nothing on his his record where it's like, I, you ain't really about that life. You didn't live that life. Yeah, like, like 50 literally was in the streets. Nigga oh. got shot nine times. Literally went to a whole nother nigga studio and had a fight. Like, <laughs> them niggas was having shootouts at concerts, bro. Like, yeah, bro, yeah. niggas are different. Literally, when the nigga is beefing with motherfuckers, on stage with the static, like, yeah, yeah. Where, where them niggas at? Who was all them niggas? <laughs> like, son, this, this, you looking at, like, I hate to sit here and say it, like, but you're looking at a real nigga at this point. Like, yeah. you're looking at a nigga that ain't no cap in his shit. Like, he, and what makes it funnier is that he's trolling you. So it's like, what are you really going to say, my nigga? Like, I don't know. The nigga, for a nigga to get shot nine times, draw wide and all that, hopping in the booth. Spitting through that shit Like That's a nigga You just don't want No beef with bro Like And he He, he don't got no level Where 
He's gonna hold himself back. That nigga posted butt crying. <laughs> like, yeah, bro. That nigga's ruthless. That nigga's a menace, bro. So yeah, everybody just need to learn leave fifty the fuck alone. Yeah, leave fifty alone. Don't be out here doing no wild shit. So that fifty got something to say about you either. Well, bro, because honestly, son, Diddy's not about to entertain fifty. Diddy knows better. Diddy got a lot on his plate. I think the last thing he was never about gonna entertain, entertain Fifty. Like, he's always ignored that shit, <laughs> bro. Because it's like you know better, my nigga. Like even when he found them pictures and shit. Yeah. Like, that's not a nigga you really want to entertain because as soon as you give him, he already got a spotlight, but as soon as you give him a spotlight where it's like, all right, let's really pay attention to what he's like, it's over. You you lost that battle a long time ago, son. So, um, but yeah, man, niggas just, I don't know, that whole shit is wicked. Um, so, so did he do the rest of that shit? You said what? Now that the video's out, we, we got a glimpse. He, he did the rest. I, he did I always thought he did all that shit with, uh, with Cassie. There ain't no cap on her shit. Yeah, it was a little rod that I was a little questionable about. <laughs> but the, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the Cassie shit, I always believe. Hey, yo. For real, son. Um, yeah, may, may she find peace, man. Because I know rehashing this shit, yeah, what she went through is not, uh, it's not easy. Yeah, man. Anybody that's sticking up for Diddy, y'all niggas is weirdos. I don't, um, see, I don't see anybody. Anybody that got a comment it. towards like a nigga putting his hands on a female, weirdos. Like, mm-hmm. um, all I will say is like, women keep your hands to yourselves. But the niggas that's like, y'all niggas need to keep your hands to yourself too. Like, I don't understand what it is so hard about, you know, just letting motherfuckers be and not feeling like you gotta control them. Like that shit weird and it's sick because it's like these niggas, you, it's not property. Mm-hmm. Like there's no you, nobody is property, so for you to even be putting your hands on someone as if like that you own them or like I don't know sick my nigga because it's like what is someone doing to you that makes you feel like uh for you to really listen I, I'm gonna do this so for me to get my way like I don't even want you around me if I do some shit like that because at the end of the day I'm we gonna go back into the room and now what. Yeah. Just beat the shit out of you now. What you think it's like learned behavior? Because niggas got, I, I got, I got beat when I was a kid. Whenever I didn't quote unquote listen. So you think that's something that people subconsciously like no, revert well, to? Let me let me not assume. Are you beating women? No. Okay, I don't think that. <laughs> I, I don't think I got beat when I was a kid. I'm not doing like. I think it's um. It's therapy, man. Seek therapy. Cause at the end of the day, it's, it's somewhere down your line where something triggers your brain to say, the best option is to put my hands on you. This nigga Blanco said, "Wait, hold on, brother." <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, because we not going, bro. Your parents and that's supposed like, I get where you're getting at though. You get what I'm saying? I'm like just I, I'm a, just asking. A beating made us listen, like made us sit our ass down. But at the same time. Did you not continuously get beat because you still was doing other bad shit? Like yeah, it, it's not shit. something that happens once, and you're like, you know what, motherfucker, going whoop my ass. So let me make sure I don't <laughs> never do this again. Like nah, son. It's just it's always going to happen because that person just feels like this is like I'm teaching you a lesson in a way. Like bro, no, get away from them people. Stay far away Look from them people. Look at what you people. make me do. Read the read the read the fucking flags, my nigga. Like that's something that you will see. Like, and I'm not gonna say, oh, you're gonna see the beating, uh, like the the aggressive, the abusive, but you'll see signs of someone that gets that aggressive mm-hmm. or like gets angry to the point that, uh, you yeah. know what? Let us really be fucking with each other heavy. Uh, you got me in a crib somewhere. Ain't no telling what you might do. Even on some controlling shit, like. You know, if if you if whoever you would give you a hard time just by letting you be yourself, like that's definitely a problem. Yeah, I agree. Like, cause why? Like, why you with them? Like, <laughs> if if you don't, if you're not with the person for who they are, like, go somewhere else. Bro, I honestly feel like too, you're never going to really get the person that you're looking for until you allow them to be them. So it's like. 
yeah, you might do that this one time and they might come back to that room with you, but you still not getting the person that you want because that shit ain't going like yeah you're not bringing that out of them feel me it's not it, shit just is not working my nigga like if that's the route that you feel you need to go to have a good relationship you lost already mm-hmm. so yeah man everybody just need to keep their hands to themselves um especially men because it's like nigga we supposed to be protectors what do you like it's a fact and I hate that someone will do that and then have a daughter and be like, oh, no nigga better put their hands on. Make it make sense. <laughs> make it make sense. Because you got to be the same nigga that's saying, oh, well, baby, if you're not listening, I can't be upset that your boyfriend's beating shit out of you. Like, So let's be for real. Niggas is not doing the math. The math is not math. And mm-hmm. you want to sit here and do it to somebody, but then say, no nigga better put their hands on my daughter, make it make it sense. So, yeah, everybody just need to keep their hands to this stuff. I, I'm not an advocate of that shit. Um, honestly, I'm... I'll say, let me ask y'all this, though. Being that we are talking on it, where where do you lie? Because we are supposed to be men and protectors, and, you know, um, it's always conversations about... Uh, Niggas watch someone do that. Uh, uh, like, where you at if you see a nigga putting hands on a, in a, on a female or a woman in front of you? Honestly, it depends on the day. <laughs> depends on the day. My nigga said it's where, raining. What time? Mm-hmm. Not even rain. It's like, <laughs> no, I feel you. Am, am I prepared for this to go where it could go? Yeah. Yeah, am I prepared to die? Bro, and that, yo, that's the. Am I willing to lose my life right now? This is where it gets weird, bro, because women will bash someone real quick because they like, oh, y'all just sat back and watch. Ah, ah. And it's like, yo, you got to understand that someone, that man is still trying to make it home to his family. It's not his business. He could, The most he could do is try to step in, but that also will agitate that person even more. He's already at the point of beating this person. Yeah. We don't understand where he's at at a level of head. I done watching videos of niggas sitting here losing their life because they standing up for someone. There just was a um a story not too long ago of this girl that stood up for her friend because she was getting beat and the nigga killed her. Yeah, them niggas like, that niggas are sick, bro. So it's like There's you, no end with, with that with, with those type of niggas. You feel me? Like niggas that are, that are crash like, out. Yeah, they'll go all the way. Like I've seen it was a video I ain't gonna say uh the platform, but somebody was like, "Yeah, this happened, man. I'm killing her." And I'm like, and niggas in the comments like, "Yeah," I'm like, "What Yo, the what fuck the is going fuck? on, bro? Niggas we have is a weak. Son. That shit is weak. For real, bro. Niggas don't want to take their L's in silence, bro. Niggas gotta, niggas gotta go out and take people with them. But yeah, like it's 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 crazy because it's like I know at the same time like I still want to make it home to my family, but it'll really like fuck with me to like not at least try mm-hmm. because at the end of the day it's like she's already like not in a position to defend herself. We don't know who she is. I I do things out the kindness of my heart without knowing people, so it's like I already feel like if I see some shit like that, I. It's like going to happen regardless. Even though I might want to mind my business, but I'll tell you it's right now, if I see you. a nigga got the strap and I ain't got no strap. Yeah. Sorry, baby girl, but most he's doing to you right now is beating on you, but the second I step in, he might shoot me. And yeah. I, I really hate to sit here and be like, damn, I had to let that happen, but we also don't want this shit to turn into a crash out. The best I can sit here and say is for you, make sure you do your best to separate. Um, it is sad because when it comes down to police reports and all that, that's only protecting motherfuckers yeah. but so much because when we really speak mm-hmm. into situations, it's like, yeah, motherfuckers getting restrained. Let's use the girl in the parking lot. Yeah. Um, the one where her, her nigga crashed out. Oh, look mm-hmm. at this guy. Look she had a restraining order on the nigga, but he still pulled up, crashed out. Yeah, the niggas don't give a fuck about that restraining order shit. Yeah, yeah no, hell no. And that's as far as it could go, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Because they, they can't get involved for a crime that didn't happen yet. Exactly. Which is like the, I don't know, it's the bullshit. Most ass, but. yeah, ass backwards bullshit. 
But you know, still at the same time, you got motherfuckers that lie on people. That's true too. So it's like, it's a it's yeah, a rock and a hard place, bro. Real shit, like it's it's but so much. I just would say like read the red flags before it gets there and just separate yourself, son. Like certain niggas, you could tell like I right. and then for the ones that be finding that shit attractive, it's not. Yeah, I was about, about to say that shit. Like, it's like that that ex, that excitement that you got in the for real because you got bro. In the I've, beginning, I've, I've seen so many women in the beginning. Quick. Like, yo, this nigga said he would slap the shit out of me. Like, this is not <laughs> funny. Like, like, oh my nigga, don't play. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, yo, that nigga really dragged me out the car. Yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> Like, what do we... I, I'm not gonna hold you bitches do be saying move. Like, when there be certain shit, when they get dragged yeah. out of the club, they do say move. And so, that's... Yeah. No, son. Yeah, that's not there, There's no... No, like, I... If you want to talk about my nigga coming to the club and telling me, let's go, it's different. But, oh, yeah, I'm ready to get dragged out the club this summer. I You're, mean, you you, 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 could, you could probably... Dragged out the club this summer? <laughs> don't. You could probably... What? Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's, what, that's, that's what we talk about. That's that. That's, 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 that's what we talk about. <laughs> that little exciting shit that you think is cool Bruh, in the beginning. No, but that shit start, gonna go. That listen, shit gonna escalate. It start as this. This level one. Feel me? Then the next time you do it, she's like, that ain't enough. <laughs> now, now, now you gotta up the, the score. Where it's like, <laughs> ah. <laughs> feel me? That's not, yeah, yeah, okay. That's that's why I'm saying like, stop. Early on, read the red flags. Like that shit is not cool. But how you spin though? How you? But honest, how how do you spin from that though? I'm I'm Baby sorry girl, for just bugging on, on nah, the pod nah, like this, but, bro, but, listen, but, but 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 how do you spin like there's that? There's no perfect answer, but read the room and figure out. Like you got your like if Be you like, let it get inside, if you let it get that far, that's on you. You already lost. You like because you have to read certain signs of. Where it gets to that point, motherfuckers start like fucking with someone heavy and liking how it is, and basically they moved in already. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like you putting yourself so close before you even realize who you dealing with. Motherfuckers will say, "Oh yeah, I spent one night and that turned into a week." Now you want everybody's like it. Everybody say the whole shit like uh, a first date turned to seventy two seventy two hours. Nah, that's, I, I don't and then know that, you. Now you got a nigga that's like, "Oh, where you about to go?" <laughs> You don't even like you ain't. <laughs> you, y'all was bobbing at first, so you thought you had you, you made that decision. Nah, she was never going to win. That's why I'm saying, like, Ladies for real, bro, because niggas, like, women don't realize they get caught up in that moment. And I'm not like, I understand it. Like, you want to love, you want to feel, ah, yeah. ah. Uh, uh, so it's like you thinking shit green, but then you find out that this nigga is controlling. He's a nigga that's now asking you, oh, who you about to be with? Oh, where they about? To? Oh, nah, nah. Like, and yeah. now you like. You got a nigga that's on hills because if he already asking you, oh, now nah, why you want to go home? Yeah, like why do you want to go to I work? Like, oh, you not coming back? You going with your? You going out with your friends? Like, but it, that that at that point when you say you don't want to come back, that's like a that's a personal problem now. It's always we, been a personal. It's problem. always been because now it's like now I'm yearning for something. Now I'm missing something as to why. Before you, before you came into the picture, it was something I was missing. So now, you leaving me to fuck with me. You feel me? Nah, people yeah, got yeah. abandonment issues. Son. So it's like, up. That's where it started. That's where they result into being abusive and aggressive. Because it's like, because they want what they want. Yeah, like you really about to leave me? Like, yeah. And go yeah. where? And thankfully, like, go ahead. and then whenever it's the the go where it's always the dark thought of they're going to be with somewhere else, yes, or someone else. Most of the time, some people just going ninety eight percent of the time they're just going home to be with themselves. I don't know about ninety eight. Let's not be ninety eight. This nigga took this nigga, this nigga, 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 No, no, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna put myself in the position. I'm gonna say ninety eight because I might be a part of the two percent. Yo, what you is might it? be part of the two percent? The two percent of not going on with myself, so I'm putting myself into the. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but no, nah, it depends on the circumstance. That's what I'm just saying. I'm gonna put myself in the two percent. But I will but say, most like, of the time, I'm going home by myself. Niggas do 
Well, not like, well, niggas do that shit too, but we what? as people. So, 2%. No, I'm saying niggas do this shit too, as in, this like, don't be wanting to. Yeah, I don't want to indulge into that, that whole argument shit, so I'm going off. But, no, what I was going to say is, like, we got to stop getting caught in that habit of being with someone so much before we even know. How they really are. Yeah, like, oh, no, how do you function? Like, we got to stop being that's like, all right, it, it starts off good, uh, uh, but honestly, a lot of this stuff you don't find out until you really get too close. Mm-hmm. And I think we just be, oh, yeah, things are vibing, like energy, uh, like, feel me? You fall in love with the, the feeling, but don't realize, yeah. like, yo. This motherfucker's a psychopath. You don't know. Yo. You, with the Bilo saying that, closet. I'll say this. Whenever we start dating someone new or get involved with someone new, it's always filling a void from the past situation. Always? Always. Listen to what I'm going to say. Always. Listen to what I'm going to say. Go ahead. All right. Most of the time, you start playing the street or start playing the field because you're missing something that the person that you was dealing with wasn't providing. So that's why I mean you're filling a void. Or sometimes you're not happy in the situation that you was dealing with. Right? So that's you filling the void of you obtaining happiness. What if it doesn't I get, work out? I, I get what he's trying to say. Like basically it, it's not intentional of like I want this person to fill this void, but Let's say you are in a situation, and now that you're out of it, you want something to fill that void. So you I'm now not, I'm not you, you might possible. pick up a hobby or something, but, but nah, it's never no hobby, bro. I'm talking. To, I'm, I'm no, no. I'm talking about when you're dealing with someone. You could be dealing with someone. You could be dealing with someone for I could say two or three years. Whatever y'all falling, y'all fell out about, or whatever you don't like about that person. Once you touch street again, whatever that you want or you feel like you need, that's what you're going out to find. That's not always true, though. That's I'm, I'm stuck on the always part. Not Okay, not going out to find, but that's what you need, though. You but need? You might... Okay, yes. This situation where you admit you're, you're seeking that you're, the past person and other people. Yes, that's true. But there's times where niggas just... Be they play because they want to play. Yeah. Both things happen. Uh, both, yeah, both things happen. Cause I'm a, look, we gonna keep it, we gonna keep it a buck. Cause you, no niggas, no niggas. They was playing with the the person that they missing. They was playing while they still had that person. Why are you talking about me on the pot? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Nah. Why are you talking about me so, on the pot? <laughs> I'm not talking about you on the pot. <laughs> and, but when 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 shit break off, this nigga st- <laughs> niggas niggas is playing, but not even like on some. I'm trying to play like shit just just coming like that. True. Yeah, I, I was about to say I don't I don't think it's like a no. I I I get what he's saying, but you're still gonna miss what you're missing though. I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm to a mutual all, exclusive. So you just, I'm just me right not, though. No, I didn't because it's not always the scenario, bro. <sighs> okay, for niggas that's playing because they playing, but still miss the person that they miss. Right? They're playing just because they're playing. Right. Now no. you're making it specific. I don't, I don't you said know. for I'm niggas not. that miss the per- person, then you might they might be looking for that person and other people. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. But it's not always the case. Man. It's always the case, bro? Just because you miss someone? Okay, not that's how you go always on? the case, but right, I'm so, talking So stop about... saying always, nigga. All right. All right, all right, <laughs> all right, all right I'm sorry. But I'm sorry for saying always, but I'm saying if you're getting out of a situation, okay, right? The next time that you will end up in a next in, in a next situation for whatever that you was missing in your last situation is what you're gonna attach yourself to. It that also depends too. Like, I, I feel like it's more complicated than that because if you just if you just going based off of like how your last situation ended, then yeah, you're just gonna. You're gonna gravitate no, toward the bro. things that we're missing. I mean, but if uh, you sit down and go like, "What do I actually need as a person?" Okay, watch this. You feel me? That how many dictate. times do niggas get out of a situation and sit down and think about what am I really missing right now? What is it that I really need out of the out of the person that I want my partner to be? 
Think about that. <laughs> Nigga said I need that ass to be fat. That's what he said. <laughs> Nigga crazy, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell y'all what I said. I said fat poom poom. <laughs> yeah, this thing is crazy. Yeah. But, nah, but, I, mean, no, I, know what you, I, I know what you mean. Seriously, like, though. I do that, though. S- Shut up. I do. <laughs> listen. I do Yo. sit here and be like, all right, what was it that Yo, made look, me look, look, look. either not be fully faithful or like just it wasn't working for us? Okay, honestly. You, yeah. you could look at that after the fact, but it's like, when niggas be like, man, I'm off this. Or niggas be like, man, I'm done with this shit. Or niggas be like, I'm over it, this shit. Mm, I feel like, I feel like, for me personally, it's it's more of an internal thing because I can't, I can't say like what that next person would have done for me that would have made me stay or like would have made it work out. I'm okay. I make sure that I look at it from a perspective of like, what am I missing? That okay. This shit didn't so work then, out or why that do niggas go to the next to... though? Because I, I had to look at myself. Now I'm gonna talk about myself. Of why you've always been talking about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna talk about myself. Uh-huh. When it goes to like, okay, you move on to the next person. I could be missing something from this person. I can be missing something from this person. And the only reason why I'll get involved with the next person is because you wasn't doing something that I needed from the last person. This nigga need a build a bitch workshop. Yeah, nah, for sure. Coming in 2026. <laughs> Build the bitch. Build the bitch <laughs> workshop. <right>. Nah, listen. <laughs> listen well, the, uh, what I'm going to say is, is that we just have to stop getting in the habit of... Go, we need to start... Stop getting in the habit of going back to back to the back. We've all done it. It'll be like, okay, yeah, I got this one in the tuck. You missing something? Okay, I got this. So what you okay, saying? Thug it out. Thug it out with old girl. Just make it work. I think I. I think we. Well, work I don't know yourself. for me. I had a bad habit of being that we vibing and connecting. I feel like we should fuck with each other. That, that, and, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. When you it's like, not what you said, bro. <laughs> no, but that's what I <laughs> right. mean. Like when you, as you, that's not what you said. As you get older, you that realize. Nigga didn't say he was no. seeking the last person in this no, new oh, person. No, oh, oh, I'm never <laughs> seeking. The person. Nigga said you're looking for. But if for... I can find. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up with this guy? Yeah. Yeah. If I can find the person. What's wrong with this I'm going to always son? find them though. Bro, and that, listen, that is really the, the key. That's, pro- the, oh, that's bro, always the problem. That's oh, Well, that was my key problem. Like, I'm always going to find something because I, like, I know, like, me personally, I'm easy to connect with vibe with chill with like energy wise i'm saying like okay. you can meet someone and i know like we're not gonna go left because how i'm get along with. yeah like i'm e- seriously though like feel me i give you energy that i know that you're going to like and then you might give me energy that i might like and i just feel like you know what hey we both got energy that we like like i'm not even going deeper into realizing like is this someone that I'm going to really yeah. want to... It just feel good now. And, and it, honestly, it, I probably don't even like you. It, it just feels really like be, you like them because uh, of that connection emotion. right there in the beginning. Of Because of why you're filling a void. <sighs> Yo. That nigga ain't say shit about filling a void, nah, bro. Yeah, but no. it can be a temporary... Look, I'm going to oh tell you because I had to sit down. Put it together. Go ahead. I had to sit down and analyze put myself. It, put it together. Bro. I don't like none of you bitches. Oh, my God. There we have it. <laughs> there we have it. We tap dance for 10 minutes Same. for him to say. That nigga going through his phone disgusted. <laughs> Yo, I like who I like, but sometimes I indulge myself in things that is temporary. Why do you do that? You feeling the void? What? <laughs> Is it the voice? You said it's because you feel No, no, no. Sometimes it can be different voices, but different things. <laughs> women is doing the same thing. So no, no, no. Women is different. But I had That's to really point. sit down and analyze myself. Like, yo. At least at least with women, they'll they'll have a bunch of different niggas that help them in some way. Get them food. Well, handy like, handyman I nigga. I realize this with women sometimes. Women are uh, all right. They'll try to pull something out of the man that they like, that they know they can't get. So they want you to be a certain type of way. Mm-hmm. They'll try to do certain things to pull it out of you. Yeah, but that's just, not, just not true. That, it's, but 
You gotta understand. Sometimes everybody experiences other people in different ways. Yeah. So <laughs> you can be like what she wants for someone else, but how we come in contact with each other is not how I want to be right now, or that might not be your lane. All right, so look, I got a question, right? Being that we are all of, being that one, Sorry, up, one, up, I'm one up just hit it, <laughs> we all at the 30 mark. Yeah. Are you willing to date outside your comfort zone now? What is... And yeah, when I say what is your comfort zone, I'm saying like, let's say you told yourself this is not my type of person that I usually go for. But... As you're going on in life, you're realizing like the people that you basically are going for is not always clicking. Are you asking us if we trying to date white people? Because I don't, I don't really. It could be a white person. No, it could be a white person. But <laughs> my, I, my, like, <laughs> let's say my main thing. Let's say looks. Are you willing to date outside your comfort zone for the for how you would like that person to look that no. you're going for? No, I don't know. Is she bad? <laughs> it's not <laughs> what you usually go for. It's outside of. <laughs> She fired. If you usually are okay with a seven, are you okay with going with a four? No. But she has everything to offer. She she gives you she good energy, someone that you actually vibe with. Offer. You see a mother figure in and everything else. Nah, but outside of the looks, she's at a four. Nah, that's that's dead, bro. Yeah, definitely dead. I my need something to look at. That's just a part of facts. like how niggas is wired. But look they good. say looks is not <laughs> everything. <laughs> <laughs> You said what? I'm gonna have little kids still gotta look good. Right, facts. I'm gonna have. Are you willing to admit if your kids look ugly? Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, (laughs) I'm definitely one of them. I'm sorry, but like, I'm still gonna find you attractive. For sure, (laughs) in your own way. Yeah, nah. But people can have ugly hoods. I'm definitely, (laughs) I'm definitely roasting my kids if they come out ugly. Four thousand percent. But yeah, are you? So you're not willing to date outside, James? Are you willing to date outside your comfort zone? For looks, I'm not even talking about. I'm just saying my comfort zone. Yeah, whatever. I'm just saying my comfort zone. Whatever your comfort zone. I, I just use the looks as an example because I say one day down the line you have to realize like this is who you stuck with forever, mm-hmm. and you can't be but, but tempted. Forever? Yeah, but, like this. Nigga, is, this I'll is I'll shoot you another club up. When Let's you're 65. No, so I got another one. When you're 70, <laughs> bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you date outside your comfort zone? Yes or no? It's like, nah, that's not even me. But uh, um, who is it? <laughs> <laughs> Semaj. Who, who is it then? Um, when I say my comfort zone, mm-hmm. one up. Can I get the? Oh, I got you. Hold on. Here you go. When I say my comfort zone, I mean like. I know what I want out of my life, so if you don't fit the picture, then you out of my comfort zone. So I know would that. you date outside your comfort zone? You'd be zone. a great, poli- yo, like politically, bro, I think you would make a fire politician because you'd just be <laughs> He going to be the nigga that's going to always beat around the bush. They going to be like, yo, what's going on with health care? So, I feel like we care for your health. <laughs> <laughs> Type it don't matter the color, the race. I just got the type. Oh, so you would date away? What <laughs> <laughs> would you date? You just said you don't care about color or race, nah, bro. Yeah, I don't see that. I see love. <laughs> I'm sorry for all my office fans, but <laughs> there was a time when Michael Scott said, I don't see color because I'm color blind. <laughs> And that's what the fuck you just gave. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yo, yo, please. Also, that's another good one, but that's just a funny yo. series. Watch The yeah. Office. That nigga said, I don't see color because I'm colorblind. I told you, Faith would probably be mad. But yeah, Faith would definitely be mad. You yeah. with Becky? So you... Jams. But see, I... <laughs> <laughs> Blanco now said I no. I might text her right now and say, yeah. I'm having a baby on the way. With a white woman. Yeah, yeah, 
Everybody text their text their <laughs> their, their family members and say, Faith I got this white girl pregnant and tell me your replies. Faith yeah, gonna be like again? I, I wanna hear blonde goals <laughs> <laughs> replies. <laughs> but yeah. My mother gonna call me on air. Yeah. Call, let's my hear mother, it. We're not even mother of Niggas said, I'm packing your bags right now. <laughs> Bro. But you said you wouldn't. My mother wouldn't even respond. She'll just wait till she see me. Don't do it. <laughs> oh my god. You said you wouldn't? You wouldn't date what? a white woman. Come on, son. No pork. Yo, that's pork. racist. Yo. <laughs> Can't be racist. <laughs> if you're but, a minority. Uh, I be bet money. No, no but look, your comf- she get She's part of your comfort zone. I wouldn't, though. <laughs> I wouldn't, though. So, all right. And now, this I was I'm having com- this talk I'm with for the white oh, listeners. Black people. No disrespect. Please, please. But. Please. Listen, I was talking, I was talking about up. this with a co worker, and I said that. For the most part, people do not date outside their comfort zone because they don't allow that person that's like out of their comfort zone to get close to them until mm-hmm. they have. True. So, like, and I, the example I was um, given. I might need to unsend this, bro. Yeah, I'm this. The the example that I was given was if you were to see this person walking across um, down the street, uh, if they tried to approach you outside, like at a store, or whatever, it's a dub. Once it becomes a situation where they're around because mutual friends, y'all are chilling, you start to get to know them better. You start to realize, mm-hmm. hey, he he actually got a sense of humor. I like that he's, you know, he shows that he cares for women, opening doors. I, I, like You see all the other things that are checking off of the list. They're still outside of your comfort zone, but now you're starting to realize, like, mm-hmm. all right, well, they got everything. They got nine out of ten. Should I like that's when even at six out of ten I might say that's that's tough though I I still feel like the physical is a very big part of the falling in love element because mm-hmm. th- there's nice people everywhere every everybody mm. you know there's people who do nice things all the time but like it hits different when you actually right, have wait, that physical, physical attraction to you or physical in general because you can be physically attracted to some people. I'm I'm just saying for me and also generally some speaking. Some not be physically attracted to them. That is true. There are there are some people hey, that man. like the medium uglies. But um yeah, not no, me. Niggas crazy. So how would y'all feel if someone that you were dating said that they you're part of outside their comfort zone like as far as looks, would you still want to be with them? I mean, I know I'm not an ugly nigga, so sure. I don't know what that to means. You. To me. <laughs> <laughs> I just farted. I'm sorry, <laughs> but nigga, stay. I'm saying because I know, like, I feel that way personally. Sometimes I feel like I, right, I've seen what you direct yourself that way, though. What you talk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, like when direction. you, like when you talk with your hands, like wave, wave it toward the TV. I've, se- uh, I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> but, nah, I've seen. Uh, like I could like for example, I the person that I've talked to, I could see what their past was, and I'd be like, I feel like I'm outside your comfort like, zone. Like I'm not what path. you usually go for. Um. So my question is that they, if that person that you find attractive or whatever, and they say, look, as far as like looks, you're really not what I would go for. How how would you take that? Like, would you still um, be okay with being with them? Am I happy? Like shit is lit. Yeah, happy. Feel me. You shit just cool. know, like deep down, she's really not attracted to you physically. Um. Yeah, that's a problem. That might not be that mean though. Like she might be. You yeah. Should tell if if you're talking about like physical attraction, I think that's a problem. But if if you're talking about like maybe style or even like lifestyle, you know, she might she might be used to niggas that. Have I'm, a nine to five or some stable shit. But I'm talking in a sense of what you're talking when you say you wouldn't to that person. When you say mm-hmm. that, hey, I wouldn't usually do it because ah, they're like, let's say you know how you said you wouldn't date a white, yeah, right? You come across someone that could be another race mm-hmm. that you are dating now, and they're like, you know what? I'm outside my comfort zone. I honestly wouldn't date a black person. Would you still stay with them? Oh, I wouldn't be in that position, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's something that you could take seriously. And that, like that situation, that that, that example is uh, specifically you. You can't. You got then the family also plays a factor. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. So that's that. You gotta kind of. 
But yeah, that when it comes to race is a whole different rabbit hole. But yeah. um, I, I, I don't think it matter, bro. Because if, if a Middle Eastern joint talking about, you like, said, if you from, said, I mean, you said and One Up said that he looked good, so y'all look good, so no, One Up feels Pause. like One Up was talking about himself, but Ooh. I was just saying like, let's say the person he is dating comes out and say, you know what, as far as looks, you're not what I usually go for. Oh, I'll be like, bitch. <laughs> I'm saying that could Bitch. really mean anything though. Like, fire, yes, no, I know what you mean. She could be like, yeah. you no, know, I usually date tall niggas. Uh, but that still holds. I think it's different for niggas though. Honestly Wait. speaking, word to Marcus. Sometimes you got to actually choose on your legacy though. So fuck the love. At some point, it got to be like what? Uh, fuck the love. Fuck love. Fuck the love. Uh-huh. I got. Say it again. Where you going with this one? I need to leave my legacy in a way of who I am, so my legacy has to follow who I am. So I might fuck around. I'm not. Gonna, I could be in love with the short bitch, but but you want your son to go to the league. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so I might go to. Uh, hey, yo, chill, but son. I will also say this though: all you motherfuckers. All you hoes. That's like I might I might get real racist up here. Yo. Who are you, bro? All you mixed breeders. <laughs> oh. This nigga's going off the deep about to crash out. <laughs> this nigga's wild. Going around. <laughs> Stay away from them women trying to name y'all kids. Caden. <laughs> Aiden. <laughs> Well, not Caden. What well, Aiden, Jalen, all them other mixed breed names. Stay yeah, away from. Yeah, it's mad ends. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's mad ends. It's my nephew name. <laughs> it's Braden. Hey, I, I got a nephew name Caden too. But I got a nephew name Aiden. <laughs> Aiden Jalen. No, not Jalen. Ah, right, well, that's and you either get, you either get one or two of the mixed breed. <laughs> you either get the hairy mixed breed or the balding mixed breed. So it's like. What? What is happening? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this nigga talking about hair. Yeah. Alopecia. <laughs> uh, gen- genetics. I, the attraction thing is when I was asking as far as... And I, you got the mixed ugly breeds too, though. When I, with the attraction as far as like what women um, one up, it's just I see a lot of women date outside their looks because of a nigga bag. And yeah, that's why I'm saying it's different for... Oh, it's different brother. for niggas because... Women will date ugly niggas, yeah. comfortably. Very comfortably. Nigga, to the niggas, bag. niggas are not dating ugly women comfortably. But if the bag dries up, I mean, if the bag dry up, then you feel me. You you just an ugly nigga with no money. R.I.P. to Biggie, but Faith was not <laughs> doing that. If Biggie just was a regular nigga, the stories that they were saying about this nigga, Th- they do say he was pulling them. Oh, Biggie. Yeah. Like the way they was sure. acting over this nigga is insane, bro. Yes, but let, I don't feel like if Biggie was just a nigga walking down the street, <laughs> he was pulling the same woman. Maybe, but then again, he was before rap. He was a trap nigga. Yeah, James. Nah, yeah, yeah. Talking about it, dropping and shit. Not yet. Why? Why y'all staring at each other? All right, and what do you have to say about it? <laughs> 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 oh, nah. oh wait, hold on. What'd you say, bro? My fault. Nah, what? Oh, no, 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 shut up. No, I don't even talk about it. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, I was sitting nah, in this uh announced that he's back. <laughs> I was going. We're I'm back, a, baby. I, I was going to say that was nuts. <laughs> I ain't want to say nothing because like, whenever he comes back, I feel like he was going to say it officially. No, no, we stepping in here, man. Yeah, baby, June 29th. We no, in no, no, the no. fucking. <laughs> Wait, what, what was that, nigga? Was that SpongeBob? For DR. This nigga. Anyway, yeah, we in DR. For Ant's next fight. Well, I probably won't be there. And what you got to say about me? Oh, this nigga. <laughs> I really, I really <laughs> might. Never mind. I'm not even about to say what I'm going to out there. <laughs> I'm not even about to say out there. What up? Anyway, but, so yeah, yeah and, and, and just dropped the announcement. What? Yeah, man, and, and just dropped the announcement uh, earlier today. Make sure you know 
Y'all, Saturday, y'all June count. 29th, we are in DR and is back for a new fight. Um, of course, all the info will be dropped soon on the Goodfellas page. Uh, Ant just recently dropped it on his page. Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely want to tune in. If you're going to uh, take the trip, you already know it's going to be energy all the way through. Um, sure. Honestly, if y'all caught a glimpse of what Atlanta is, it's probably going to be times 10. We tore Atlanta and up in a matter of 48 hours. So just know, June 29th, DR is going to be a movie. Yes, sir. You heard my boy is back. He'll tune into it more for y'all on the next pod. Drop some more dimes, but definitely look. A lot of the niggas that we have around, if you don't know, get in tune. Like I said, Marcus, God's will, and then you got Ant that's just been doing his thing ever since he went pro. So get in tune with the guys. You heard. What about you? When your mixtape dropping, bro? Um, mixtape dropping soon. Hey, bro, shut up. They ain't robbing no fucking. Called fuck jigger. Nigga <laughs> lies. You're. But yeah. That's all about the table. Shout to the champ, man. Yes, that was the yeah, first bro. thing we did, sir. Are you, are you ready to? Um, uh, Your I'm PTO sorry. is running out. Uh, we already talked about. Yeah. Well, we didn't talk about. You got no yet. more I sick said, time. Well, we did talk about one. Yeah. No Percy's. You we, talking about like the out like the rank of the? Okay, what's the rank? I want to hear it. I still have silky. You have silky. I had silky over making a man. Silky season, which one? The it's first only one. one silky season, bro. No, it's not. It's only oh, one silky okay. season. I, uh, I'm sorry. Marcus, get, get, get this. Marcus, is this, this your family? My fault, my fault. Silky season one. I'm going to go over what? God's that, Will? That's his favorite project, bro. That's my favorite project. But I did say God's Will. I think it's his um most balanced uh project. I think this is the most mature version of Marcus. In terms of like uh-huh. music, I hate we gonna get. I, hate, I I just hate niggas. <laughs> I don't know why we got like we t- go talk. We got one car. We got confessions. One car, yes. One, one car, car niggas trying to hop in my whip. One car was definitely crazy. All that I'm shit not- was <laughs> crazy. But that's why I said it's tough. I'm like, yo, he's battling and stuff. Like all this shit is elite, bro. Like, so I don't know. I do like guys will just drop. Okay. Give him more time. All right. I mean, and I was listening to it while he was still updating the tracks. So you feel me? So, oh, he was in the studio. No, when he sent the, when he, the, same, the, same. When he he sent the, the link out, he was updating the tracks as it was going. Okay, all right, but he was in the studio. He said, "Well, updating." He was in the studio. Okay, whatever you niggas want to say, but A&R. Let, it live, let it breathe a little bit more. Okay, um, well, it's nothing. I, it's early I, though. I feel like the bangers on here is what's the bangers? Uh, Truly Talk, Mark Duckerberg. Bird, uh, and I think the uh, won't fly. No jacking, not no jacking. The, Charles um, Darwin. Ba- uh, bad, bad bitches, bitches deserve good things. things. Bad bitches deserve good things as a single. I I have well, well. Mark Duckerberg as a sleeper. That's not a sleeper. That's not you're not hearing that out. You craziest nigga. What are you talking about? <laughs> if I'm DJing, yeah, nigga, yeah. that's a that's a rec- that's a club record. It's not a club record. What? And Yo, what are you talking about? Okay. Right. It's formatted like a club record. It's a club it's record. For, uh, like one up said, it's formatted like a club record. So it's going to play But to play it outside, that's not. I will play No Jackin before I'll play Mark No, Duffelberg. bro. You're bugging. You're bugging. Okay. Literally, everything for that record though? is formatted for the club. The hook, the beat. Like, it's a club record, bro. No. I'm one saying up, No Jackin. I'm saying no jacking over Mark Duckerberg. That's not a club record, bro. This, this is so cool that we actually get to play the music and not get flagged. Facts. Shout out to you, Mark. Like, this is a club record. I don't know how you don't think it's not a club this thing record. Is, I don't know. This, this I'm dead ass, though. You're the only nigga yeah. that did that. Yeah, I I, I me, and Marcus t- me and Marcus Mark talked about it, and we <laughs> said bad bitches deserve good things <laughs> is the single. Hey, nigga, you a fool for this. I did some good, I did some bad, bad don't. but they miss me. Uh, we just talked about this shit. I'm conceited, shorty told me I feel different. Uh, like I'm brown, no, no, still on top. It's a, this is a club record. You got your bag, shit expensive, why you bitching? Touching something, not by weekly. You want to mix it in with something? Ups and downs, but that shit come with the swag. Man, what? 
I'm gonna be on fucking no jacket. Give me cash, man. What? She think we play just what? because of the Can you play no jacket? Man, this ain't a bottle. This a gym. Ace of spades. She is stripper. Ooh. I respect it because she paid. Cause she she paid. fucked me only. I don't trust her. It's a play. Nigga, Brick City, you know how gritty we get over here, man. No jacket has a bounce. And you could play it in the club, but they're both club records. I don't. I don't I don't see them I not think, being I think what the, the BPM is probably what 58 or something for what for no jacket 132 I'm going to get okay. back to Brick City for young as that couldn't get back to their fam I'm, I'm going to get back to no the city to show what it's like to fall off in the land that whole hook, I won't show off to my niggas cuz show it up with me and get Whoop. to the bands that, the, the, <laughs> and that is the plan hey we are not jacking a hype I would rather hear not jacking no a hype. hype we are not yeah, jacking a hype hey I can we hear both. Okay. Both are we good songs. We are not songs. jacking a hype. Yeah. Hey, we are not jacking a wrong about this, hype. Right? No. And, I want, and, and when and when this shit go crazy, I want an apology. To what? Because you're wrong as fuck. Okay, then I'm 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 gonna want an apology of God's will being better than Silky Season. No, I, first of all, when I heard this, I told Marcus this going this gonna be the one to, to take him out of it. But which one is better? I still got Silky Season. I like this better. It's more concise. It's a way it sharper project. Concise. Like. So it's more there's concise. No, there's no wasted minutes. Even even the he songs did it that in are 34 short. Minutes. The, all the sh uh, the songs that are short, they bang like they make you want to play it again. And the versatility is there too. So I like Silky Season. There's, to me, there's no wrong answer. But okay, Silky I'm Season got the best song. Yeah, there's no wrong answer. There's no wrong answer. It's that that one song with DJ One Up on it. That intro was the craziest intro. Yeah, I told nigga he got get that's the, the next intro. Show. <laughs> you said that shit ass. Could have got J Hood to do that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Can we vote this nigga out the team? <laughs> All right, well, let me stop we'll, playing. We'll, 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 uh, we go. Anyway, stick a twirl in this full case. Where we, where we going, bro? I just had to piss one up, all man. Yeah, fuck that, man. What up? Welcome to thirty, bro. Chill, bro. Um. Appreciate it. I love the fact that um, you know who's last Tiller? Yeah, fucking yeah. baby. Nah, fucking kid. Nobody's after. Tiller's the youngest. So it was Tiller one up. Yeah, I'm the second youngest. Mm -hmm. The rest of y'all niggas is fifty. Lonnie? Yeah, me and Lonnie born the same year. Tiller one up, Lonnie. I don't know who's after that. Who who's thirty one? Nobody else after that, bro. I'm 31. So it would be you. you. So then, so there'd be you and Bilo. Greg. Nah, nah, nah. It's Tiller. Tiller one up. Mark no. It's Tiller. I don't one think up, the fans can stop punching. <laughs> <And, laughs> uh, but yeah, man, ju that just kind of lets you know that we all are in our 30s. We're dying soon. <laughs> Almost dead. <laughs> Living my life like it's golden. I'm Living my life, the life, life. <clears throat> yeah, chill. Um, in other news, right? This is wild, but Peru. Uh, like, I, I, this so is kind of crazy. Peru bad. is really wicked, but they gangster, I guess, because mm -hmm. they just don't give a fuck. Um, but it is wild. Peru has officially classified transgender and non-binary people as mentally ill. Niggas is wild. <laughs> Niggas is. I assume that's how they were. Look, listen. Looking at it, and when they made the bill, <laughs> niggas I, is wilding. Niggas put the reverse card. We will not be progressive. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely not. There's, a, I mean, if you if you peep, most of the world is kind of like that. Like a, a vast majority of the different countries no, out out in the east. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Like Peru, of all places, like specifically said this, but mad people don't really I don't know do the progressive. Peru, honestly, they got good, they got good food. Yeah, that's a fact. Beautiful women. They do have. They do have beautiful women. But yeah, they. And I learned something new about. Okay. Okay. That was gonna sound very inappropriate. Yeah, that's that's kind of your shtick. That's why you're here. I mean, honestly, for me, I really don't have too many comments on it. Like. That's a whole different place. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm well, not Spanish going. pussy is set up different. All right, bro. This nigga. 
He just said he 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 told me to say it. So I, I didn't it. tell you to say anything. I said what, I, that you're known for saying inappropriate shit. We here. You said it. So you uh, do you feel the same way about trans? <laughs> huh? I never huh? know you know trans pussy so don't have a play with me no. like that. Nigga say but the Winslow was doing it. What? Eddie Winslow. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> it's just set up. I don't know. Yo. It's at the bottom it's of the map. The show was chips, by the way. I mean, just like Peru, it's at the bottom of the map. At the map. <laughs> this nigga's drunk, bro. This nigga. <laughs> Well, yeah. Every country runs their their system different. I mean, honestly, yeah. Huh? I was agreeing with you. I was like, yeah. Yeah, nah. Like, uh, they look at us crazy, especially for a lot. Um, I just feel like we could take things from each other. Like when it comes down to health. And okay, yeah, <laughs> I had to make that very clear yeah. when Healthcare. it comes down to health and how, um, where like, the tax dollars are spent. Yes, like it's it's a lot that we can learn, but um, I do feel like it's wild. Like, even if you don't agree with people changing what they want to, like, well, what they feel that they truly are, like trans people, if you don't agree with trans, that's fine, nobody. Nobody discriminates against, but I feel like it's crazy to tell them that they're mentally ill. Um, uh, but I will say I've seen some mentally ill things. Ah, uh, that's you about put on speaker. Hello. Yeah, hello. What did you text me? Uh, text hello? me. Yeah, hello. What did you text me? Oh, I forgot. But I I think I'm having a baby by a white woman. Bye, James. Yeah, he ain't played off good enough. Yeah. He could contain this laughter. Yeah, you didn't make it believable. You ain't sell it. No, no, no. She dead ass. He's angry. No, nah, you ain't sell it. She that that buy was like you keep playing on my damn phone. <laughs> <laughs> you keep playing with them type of games. <laughs> you, you, you gonna have hey. someone pregnant. You play stupid games. You win stupid prizes. <laughs> She believes him. <laughs> uh, she definitely believes him. Oh shit! Back to I, I gotta call her back. <laughs> you about to do this right now? Be good, mommy. I'm pl- I'm I'm playing. You gotta relax. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> what is happening right now? They had no words for you. Yeah. <laughs> 360 window banged on you, didn't even say nothing. But, um. but yeah, <laughs> as far as Peru goes, um, the the whole mentally ill classification, like I I guess that's harsh, right? But I can I can definitely understand. <laughs> you could I, I get what you're I was saying. gonna say. I understand like the I don't want to say the verbiage, but mm-hmm. how it's put. Um. Because most countries and and different governments they kind of they kind of set shit up to perpetuate society, whether it's to you know have people eating healthier or like you know using like I said using tax dollars on transportation or like improving like the quality of life and shit, mm-hmm. and that's not something America does. And yeah, for the most part, like we are the land of the the free and so on and so forth people do what they want they can identify as whatever and like it's just frowned upon in other places because their priorities are different so i can definitely see like what they're trying to do or where they're coming from um but but yeah yeah now it's a it's a touchy topic um honestly because like 
I don't want to say like I stand with them or I, I agree, but you know, I will say like for them trying to say mentally ill, um, it's not like solely saying like, hey, look, we're against you liking this or liking mm-hmm. that. It's more so that you feel like in your head, I need to be this because this is what I'm attract. Like, I, like that's what I'm saying. It's like where I don't want. I I'm not a fan of honestly telling people what to do with themselves. So mm-hmm. if that's what you feel like you are born with, and this is what like born as, and this is what makes you comfortable, by all means, live your life. Like, uh, we just have to understand like people have their ways of looking at life as well. So as, as you might look at life, like saying, "Hey, look." I'm a woman or I'm a man, they are looking at life as like there can't be no change in that. Right. You yeah. can still be attracted to the opposite or whatever, but you personally trying to make a change to be something else. Like there was a video and like the video just kinda like threw me off because um there was a trans man that basically had what's it called when you have someone have the baby a surrogate yeah um so when the woman had the baby he was laying well she let me correct myself by um pronouns but she was laying in a hospital bed and wanted to be past the baby and be, so it's like you had a lot of people like why it's nothing against you wanting to have the baby but it's like yeah. why do you want to sit in the bed and pretend like you just gave birth. So I like feel me when people see things like that, it's it's like they're just too stuck in their way of saying that's not how this should be. Yeah. And not for nothing, it's all also boils down to reproduction. Yeah, that's what we're I mean, we're animals, bro. Like we 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 have the instinct to come together, make families, per like, you know, procreate, all of that good stuff. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but the um, I guess that's kind of where I draw the line like if you're gonna get in the, the hospital bed and act like you just gave birth and have somebody pass you the baby I don't care if you're transgender or not that's a little weird uh, so pass the rock yeah, yeah like <laughs> pass the rock is crazy that's like that's like, that's like if Beyonce that's everybody, crazy. but <laughs> it's like it's a sense of like why like do you not feel like that's not yeah. like a little crazy to and to make, to make the person get out the <laughs> yeah, get, get out the bed. Nah. Yeah, I think they just was in a different bed. We're not going. Like, Be like, yeah, real scoop, quick, scoop, scoop, because you know? they don't got another hospital room booked. It's just the one room where they giving birth. So they're like, yo, I know you just. I know All right, you just so they jogging the baby to the other room. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I don't know. He said, I know you just did that for me, but can you get up out the bed real quick? I'm trying, I'm trying to record this video. See what people gotta understand is like. I, I'm not against the trans hate though. Like, I mean, I'm against the trans hate. <laughs> My fault. So I worded that wrong. I'm against the trans hate because it's like there's people that's actually being harmed and you know yeah, yeah, yeah. being treated disrespectful. Um, but when you got them people that's like looking straight at it, like if we were to live life like that, there would be no more reproduction. Like. If you wanted to be attracted to this, and you get what I'm saying, like it stops there. Mm-hmm. So some people can't see past that. I mean, the I mean it's it's a great line of thinking as far as like, you know, what's next for humanity or society, but uh, at the end of the day, I think I think we're still in a space where there's like they're also the minority too, like people mm-hmm. who are trans or you know gay whatever the case may be they're also included in the minority group Mm -hmm. so i don't think it's detrimental yeah no it's not that's what i'm saying like there's no hate towards any gay community trans and none of that because at the end of the day bro shit they get as much hate as we do nigga we black facts i like i want motherfuckers to be comfortable in their, mm-hmm. in their own skin, feel me? I'm never going to sit here and be like, oh, you can't sit with me. You can't be next to me. None of that. Respect me. I respect you. Simple. Um, Everybody don't see it that way. But I personally feel like if you're comfortable with yourself, then 
it will, that's not even a bother yeah. like to be honest with you and it's right, don't yeah. it's not even just strictly towards trans or whatever this is just me personally like if i'm comfortable with myself what you do will not bother me there's nothing that's going to make me sit here and say i can't believe they're on the same train as me they don't like, me, like <laughs> seriously like know, some like, people they let this deep, on but the like you said son they they just with us like some people really d- dislike the fact that they're sitting on a plane next to a black person that they're in the same room with a black person like i've never sat here and was like shit why are you here like damn why do i got you next yeah, to nah, me? no i was never that I, serious i think the the energy it takes to that's why I, no funny, if you know me, if someone was like, yo, do you hate me? I'd be like, hate is a strong word. Because, honestly, I don't hate anybody. I might dislike. This nigga's a humanitarian. <laughs> yeah, I heard that shit. No, but why y'all farting on the podcast? I didn't fart, first of all. What was it that? came somewhere from over here, whether it was y'all stomach or fart. <laughs> it, was my, it was my stomach, but uh, I didn't fart. But yeah, I, hate PGs. is a strong word. I feel like it takes a lot of energy to honestly hate someone. Mm-hmm. Mm. You feel like you hate somebody? You you a hater, James? Because understand what hate is. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way, hate the way, way that you like, dress. Like anything that a person does, just them existing, you hate them. Like that's a lot of energy, you don't think? Yeah, nah, that's that is a uh, lot. Because you got it's a lot of energy. Though. It's like being obsessive. Hell yeah, nah, it is something. because you want to. This is the reason why I feel like it's a lot of energy because you, you walk think in a spot. That. And so I'm I, putting energy towards hating so wait, you. So you can say that, but do you feel like the same? I feel like hate and love is coexistent. So you feel like you need to put. I'm gonna I'm gonna help you out. It's on the same spectrum. Wait, yeah, do you, you feel like you gotta put the same energy into loving someone? The same reason why you hate someone. I can hate you, and I won't pay you no mind. I just hate your ass. I don't but gotta be bothered with no you. Mind, how, I, how are you really hating them? I think you dislike them. Yeah, like no, that's what I'm saying. Because it's people that I hate, but for one, I really don't. You hate want your nobody. Dinkelberg shit, or it's people that I don't want to be bothered with. Dinkelberg, that I just don't even. You're non-existent. Dinkelberg. <laughs> oh. I don't know. I think I think it takes more energy to hate than the love, because love is something that's like a. I a, feel like it's a natural. Loving I mean, someone takes more energy to hate someone. Nah. What? I, I feel like and to love do, someone, you still gotta learn more about that. It person. comes natural though. I feel no, like hate, hell no, bro. The reason why you start to build like naturally, you start to love this person. Like, how not? You have to learn that person. So that's energy you're putting into learning that person, nigga. I've known but you for yet, 10 someone months. That you don't just love someone off GP. I met you. I'm in love with you. Correct, but someone that you hate. You would have to put that energy no, into hate. It must be a reason as to why you hate them. Not all the time. So you just hate someone just to hate them? Niggas do that. Yes. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that I'm true. not okay. Niggas do so you, be hating so you do hate people. Who so do you hate? You, okay. I'm now I'm gonna speak for y'all. Y'all just hating someone just to hate them. I don't hate nobody. James. The way do you have a reason to hate somebody? Hold on, James, 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 James. I have a you question. You need to have a reason to hate somebody. Yes, Why is but, the reason to hate somebody? But but the reason doesn't have to be real. Some people will look at yeah. something, take it, and be like, I hate this nigga because this nigga got the jeans I want or this nigga got the bitch that's I want. You know what energy. I'm saying? But th- that's exactly. That is said. mad energy. And, it, and it people it do it every day. Energy, Niggas bro. ever seen Spider-Man 3? That nigga was in the church begging for Peter Parker to die, bro. That's hate. <laughs> Praying to God. <laughs> Yo, nigga said, please kill Peter Parker. <laughs> That's it, bro. But yeah, I want him to dead. answer your question, so I just feel like when you actually like like you I'm not against you saying like it takes more to love, but at the end of the day, when it comes to love, you're putting yourself in that space. Yeah, it's an If I curse. hate you, I feel like it's like I need to be in your space enough to where I built that much hate up. Mm. I might dislike you, but I, if I dislike you, I'm not putting myself around you enough to the point that I hate you. Like, yeah. you, like that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think I could ever get to the point of hate because once I'm at the point of dislike, I separate. So now I'm not even getting the chance to like actually hate anything about you because I already separated, my, separated myself from you when I dislike you. Now, when it comes to love, it starts at like, 
and then you actually build it up because yeah, that's energy though. I I never said it. I, I just I think agree with you. I think I said the energy it could is possibly cheaper. be more energy that you put into love, but I'm saying the energy that you're putting into hate. I don't feel it's like it's not it, more than to to love someone. I didn't. Are you listening? <laughs> no, he's no. not, bro. Because I literally no. said and said it could be more. I'm not disagreeing with oh, okay. you. I'm saying though, in order for you to hate someone. It takes some energy yeah. of you having to get part of the dislike and take it to hate. You gotta, yeah. you gotta pay attention to the shit you don't like about that person. Constantly. Nah, because no, because you're you not. Know. Anybody hate you? <laughs> Huh? Yeah, anybody? Uh, oh, yeah, it's a few people that hate me. I'm, I'm like, uh, sitting right they, here. There's a few people that hate me that don't even know me. They hate me over bitches. Uh, ex- so I, we, we just go. brought that up. We literally just said that niggas will hate you and not know you, bro. Yeah, it don't take. You got them. <laughs> <laughs> Walked them right into it. Yeah. I was saying, niggas hate you. Block one, well, to zero. That's what I mean. It takes more energy to love someone than to hate someone. That's that's all I was saying though. Nah, because you literally just proved the point that niggas don't know you at all and still choose to hate you. When I think you're a cool person, but Bilo uh, thinks you're an upstanding citizen. <laughs> but all uh, I was Blanco saying, thinks you're all right. All I was saying was cool. it takes more <laughs> energy to love someone than to hate someone. And I'm not one, disagreeing with uh, you. But like you said, one dislike can turn into hate. No, I didn't say that. I'm saying but that. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, I mean as in once you add disliking someone, you can separate to the point that it doesn't turn into hate. I want to know basically what would make you feel like you hate someone. Let's matter of fact, that's better question. What do you feel like? And you could just give me an example. What would make you hate someone? If they Money. decide, if they want to hurt me with intention to hurt me, I have no reason to hate nobody. Nah, yeah, you niggas need to get hit. Some, hate. Some takes of y'all a need lot. to be that's hated. That's what I'm saying. Some of you niggas need to be. Because at the end of the day, I just might just be like, you know what? I right, no, I don't, I, I don't fuck with you. But I don't actually hate you to nah, the point that I hate your guts. Like, I, I wish you would die. I'm disgusted by you. Like, nah, that's, that's just too much for me. So. That's just evil. Wishing death even when someone. niggas say, uh, yo, niggas be hating on niggas, I don't even feel like it's real hate. I just feel like niggas just don't jack niggas. They don't, they nah, just like, hate, bro. I'm saying real hate for me is like, uh, you get to the point that if you hate this nigga so much, you want to put hands nigga. and feet and. You want this nigga dead? Yeah, like. <laughs> I'm saying, do you feel like you got niggas that hate you that much that if they see you, they putting hands on you? On sight? Oh, nah, nah, nah. Everybody know better. Gangster. I like that. I like that. He keep nah, that tweet. Nah, 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 nah they'll, they'll probably feel like that, but um, I'm never going to test nobody as a person, but yeah. But yeah, no, no. Yeah. I, at the end of the day, though, let me let me take that back because I I don't know. I don't. I can't speak for other people. I do know motherfuckers do weird shit that comes off like oh, you a hater. Like feel me. But okay. when I say hate, like it's just it seems so strong to me. Like love is a strong word, correct? That's what I'm saying. And hate is a strong word too. So when when someone be like, oh, I hate you, I be like, huh? No, no. I just nah, was yeah, saying yeah. like we 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 talk about something. No, we we. Be- Below is basically talking about like how hate is a strong word and love is a strong word. They're both yeah. strong words. Yes, so that's what I'm saying. When so- uh, someone be like, yo, I hate you, I'm like, yo, hate is a strong word. Yeah. Uh, that's my that's always my response right. to when someone so- say I hate you because I'm But like, I'll say this, though. It's easier to say I hate you than, than for some people to say I love you, though. Correct. But people don't be understanding what hate really is. Like, hate is where uh, you hate me, then this is it. Motherfuckers would be like, oh, I hate you, and be tomorrow, oh, I miss you. <laughs> you feel me? Like, so I'd be telling them, just hate is a strong word. Like, understand, like, if I'm hating, That's if I hate. What I mean, if, where more energy goes into hate than to love. Bro, That's not then what you saying. agree in, with in, me. In both definitions, they have the word intense and passionate, and so. Uh, Google. Uh, all I know is nigga was right there to do it. I seen him. Oh <laughs> nigga said, "Let me come back with some info." <laughs> but, all I but, know is I got love for y'all. I don't hate. I, don't I will hate say y'all. that in that Except segment, be mindful when you use those words. Hate nah, or love. Fuck that. Be mindful when you use any words. <laughs> that too. Look at but, who's talking. Be- <laughs> 
Be, nigga, nigga, what you nigga, mean? I don't, nigga I don't, be up I here like, that's what I meant. Me, no? That's what I meant. Nah, yeah. nigga. That's, if that's what you meant, that's not what you said, motherfucker. Yeah, if I don't, if I don't say nothing. Well, well let me ask you this. I'm currently encouraging my mother about this. <laughs> <laughs> you, say, you say it takes a lot, of, uh, a lot of energy for love. Yada, yada. All right. Let me ask you a question. What's the quickest you ever fell in love? What? What's the quickest you ever fell in love? You don't gotta give me an exact time. Seven years. What's the quickest you, you ever felt like you fell in love? <laughs> you what? Let me stop chatting. Uh, real, like real? You want the real? Real? I mean, to real, you, real. I, I can't tell you what's real love. To uh, the the fastest I fell in love with someone three months. Nah, it's been a month. I mean, you Blanco? Like a month. Two, two, three months. Yeah, I, I've definitely been in the in the realm of a month, and you want to know what's crazy? I s- sometimes when it gets like that, you I feel s- the void. Right, sometimes bro. when it gets like that, I start to question like, if I really? actually love. Because yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I, I be yeah. saying no. The reason why I'm saying it is because I be catching myself wanting to already say I love you, and then I really sit back and be like, Yo, but why are you saying you love him now? I said I catch myself you, wanting I to know, say. But why are you catching yourself? Because he's having, I'm he has starting the to realize these feelings. It's nothing about a void. I know, but, but why are you catching these feelings though? Because it's lit. <laughs> I can't tell you why I'm catching the <laughs> certain feelings for this person, but it's I, lit, I definitely fell in love quick. I do believe that you can fall in love quick. Um, when you really f- like that connected to a person, you start to see like, dang, yo, like I really love this person. Everybody has their own definition of love. No one can really tell you if you love someone or not, but you feel it. I feel like mm-hmm. it's actual. It's like an actual feeling. I can't tell you the definition or how it should be or what is really love, but it's something that I do say that we all feel. Yeah. It goes from a moment of when you're talking to this person, you really like them, then it goes to like, damn, I really love them. Um, would y'all say y'all are someone that is quick to fall in love? No. How many... Uh, times you've been in love? Never. Mm-hmm. Ballpark. Five? More than five? <laughs> five more is than crazy. Five. Not more than five? You said, you said more than five is crazy? I said five is crazy. Yeah, five Why? is crazy, bro. Why? Because you just said it can happen Falling in a month. Up, it can, but to fall in love over five, five times, times? That's... That's a little... Why are you falling in love more than over <laughs> five times? What's the year span? Like... Some people have been married over three times, four times, five what's times. A, what's a, that's why I'm asking for like the time span. Like, I, 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 I don't know. Like, I've been in love. You thirty plus. Let me see. Why One, you can't be two. in love more than five times? Then these must be short lived. I've been in love three times. And he's on his way to five. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm ten percent with it. I see. I'm only. I mean, considering that nigga, like I've only been dating half of my life. Really started, like. If the relationship ends yeah. quick, do you still feel like you was actually in love? Nah. Nah. So then nah. You, you are saying that. No, it I'm wasn't saying real. that in that phase that we talking about at like, the beginning, <laughs> where you like, am I? And then, <laughs> and then that shit wear off, and you see who you really dealing with. <laughs> no. Like I said, nah. You diddy. <laughs> <laughs> Should I, uh, Jemima? Nah, that should be a uh, that should be a flip, bro. Like, damn, y'all thought y'all thought y'all had so much in common, and then like the areas y'all not clicking at, like, just amplify, bro. Yeah. See, the problem that be with these kind of relationships, bro, is that each party feels like it's the other party. Yeah. Like, there's never. Well, I, let me not say never, but there's. N- it's not often that y'all both come to agreement and be like, I, right, you know what, it really is me. It's not you. Or like, oh, it's really both of us. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes it could be nobody's fault. That too. Like, it, it could just... be nobody's fault. It's like, all right, we just don't click in these areas. And I've just come across a lot of women that it's like, not, I don't even gonna say a lot. I'm just gelling out at this point. But I've come across women that it's not easy with hearing that. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. And that works for men too. Like because a lot of people are not easy with hearing, yo, we just not met. Yeah. And then they'll tell you, well, how you figure that? Maybe you just not we not putting in the work. 
And at some point, you have to really be like... You're applying yourself, Smokey. <laughs> <laughs> at some point, it make you question, am I not? Yeah. And then another point, it's like, yo, this is just being forced and time is being wasted. The more we keep trying yeah. to like keep putting this circle in this triangle, it's like yeah. we just wasting each other's time. But We just got to sharpen up the edges, make the circle into a triangle, you know what I'm saying? Nah, that's why I realized, like, you get to a point where you, like, you really want to take it slow. Like, yeah, it, those moments of turning a day into 72 hours are good. No. But sometimes you just gotta realize, like, yo, take this shit just slow. Nah, like, I've, I've always tried to put an emphasis on, like, and, trying to figure out who the fuck I'm dealing with first. Nice. And sometimes that, like, I don't want to say space, but, like, when y'all spending so many days together, and then, like, we talked about Five when days. y'all take that, uh... When y'all separate for a little bit, yeah. and then you see how they act when it's like that. Yeah, it's that's like, yeah, that shit needed too, because you need to see how someone's going to react the sec. <laughs> excuse me, the second that y'all are apart, like are they gonna get very controlling and mm-hmm. they, like constantly wanting you to check in? Yeah, why you not answering? And or they do the opposite extreme, which is pretend you don't exist just super that detached too. that's where it's like yo you gotta find a balance because you might be dealing with someone that doesn't do it at all but you kind of need that you kind of need someone to be wanting to know like what am i doing how's my day going yeah i ain't gonna lie i'm a super detached well i'm super detached not like i used to be but i'm, I'm definitely like i have an atta- a, like a uh like an avoiding attachment style like you can you can be in my space but i ain't about to just be like feeding for attention or, or like hitting people up all the time so I've like some both. of my longest relationships uh, and even friendships have happened because like motherfuckers be checking in on me and i'm like i gotta reciprocate that energy you know what i'm saying yeah honestly i've been both um younger me i definitely was very attached when to be in your skin when to know what you're doing uh-huh. when am i gonna see you again when you coming back over i, I very attached as i got older i realized like uh it's, it's best to not be like that like take advantage of the time y'all get where y'all actually not living together because eventually feel me if y'all take this to uh, real steps and y'all getting to the point of we living with each other yeah you want to experience how it would be with this person but you also want to get that enjoyment of missing a person knowing if this is someone that you start to feel like i cannot live without mm-hmm. you get what i'm saying like you want to know if i uh, this is someone i want to be with i can't see myself without them if you don't have that separation to see if that's something that you actually want you don't even know what it fucking feels like. Like, you mm-hmm. just forced yourself, or well, you guys, both of y'all, because it takes two. Y'all both just forced yourself to be always around each other. And I don't know, like, sometimes it's like you need that breather. You need to feel like, I, right, damn, I really missed you. Like, I, yeah. I can't wait. Like, feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah let me fucking each miss other you. Chance God to damn. miss each other, yo. That should be. Like, that's the problem with that turning one day in the 72 because yeah. when motherfuckers be on that speed which i've been you literally just straight into yeah. it like now you're spending day after day after day after day and it's like it feel good you're on that high don't get me wrong y'all clicking loving the same food watching the same mm-hmm. shows doing everything together perfect but now you're busy and you're being weird <laughs> I, I just feel like things are different and like, you know, you've been acting a now, little... Now I'm at work. Out one night and you decide, you know, I'm going to go home tonight. I'm a little fucked up and have my friends. Whoa. Yeah. Like, feel me? And niggas is looking at you crazy. Yeah. It's like, what you mean you not coming back yeah. here tonight? That's what happens when you build a routine. I don't live quick. there. <laughs> but like, you built, like you said, he built that routine to where this person feels like you don't have no other choice but to be yeah. here. Like, but I mean, I, yeah, definitely. I feel like I, in the dating space, especially starting fresh, give each other that space, learn your partner more, um, just check out all the flags, understand if that's like really ask the questions, see if this is the person that you're looking for. Because for niggas, with all of us being thirty, we ain't even dating a date no more. Speak for yourself. I mean, you could still be hoeing, but. 
I think we at the point where if we really dating, we wasting somebody time. Mm-hmm. Whether it's theirs or ours, or both. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. But you we really, what? We really can't continue to keep dating and not going into it like I'm possibly willing to spend the rest of my life with you. Because when you at this point, yeah, time fly, but like, nigga, do I really want to spend two years, three years with nigga, somebody that I'm not going to be with and be no. looking at myself at 35 like, the fuck? Like, yeah, yeah nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, now I'm over here like, that shit was pointless. And part of me kind of knew that this is not really who I was thinking that I could spend my life with. It's yeah. just, I enjoyed the fact that we was, you know, enjoying each other. So I think those things need to be made clear in the beginning. So, not nah, for real, because if you if you got someone that's looking at it like, I'm dating to spend my life with you, and you are actually looking at it like, hey, I just want to enjoy this time with you, y'all on two different pages. Yeah. I'm... Right. Because they're going to start doing real, shit. They're like, going to start nigga, doing... You know, we we shit. as men have a bad habit of knowing that we're just doing this for the time being. There's no, like... Not going to say there's no chance, but you're not really sitting down like, damn, man, I really might marry this girl. <laughs> like, you just sitting down like, man, I'm loving it. Like, yeah. you got a place to be uh-huh. at. She cooking. Uh-uh. But then are you really saying like, yo, we about to build a life. I can see myself having kids. And she is. She really is. Like, yeah. She really sitting down like, nigga, I'm. I mean, that's. that's. He turned, she turned on the Jets for full court press. But for one, with Bilo saying that is because a lot of times people don't have no end goal. There, everyone is always looking for the current instead of the future. It's always some. Um, Move the mic from your face, next. I'm just gonna enjoy whatever it is for right now, and whatever comes, whatever, whatever is next, whatever's next. Like people don't always look like, okay, yeah, she's doing the things that I want. Mm-hmm. Or whatever I need, but it's just for right now. It's not for the yeah. long term. So everybody always looks at for the current and never for the future. So I'll say it like that. And honestly, bro, the so person I'm words. looking to spend my life with, I really be sitting that back like I'm enjoying these moments because these times be I'm gonna get to talk to our kids about. Like that shit be crazy. But to sit with somebody and be like, yo. What we going through right now, I could be like, yo, your mother used to really be wild, and your mother, I, I, I remember I took your mother up here. I, feel me? That's what I'm looking for when I'm like into dating now. Like I'm looking for the moments where it's like I can't wait to like really reminisce on these shits. But like what us talking about that is just it just I don't want to talk about like no rap beefs or whatever, but um. I was watching the whole, like, okay, I was watching the whole clip of Pusha T talking about why he did the story of Adi Don and shit like that. Okay. Right? And how b was just talking about, like, you know, okay, of why I said, like, sometimes people look in the now instead of the future. A lot of people don't glorify family. Okay, a lot of black people don't glorify family, hmm? marriage. This is this not nah, this is actually real. You say glorify. What you mean? That's that's not their angle. <laughs> okay. I'm so I'm sorry for saying glorify, but no, 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 no. I'm just yeah, I, that's yeah, really not their angle. Um, it's always once one bad mishap happens, it's always next. Next, it's always next. I can find another. It's always this. Um, so that's why I started thinking about as like, why do we think like this? Why is it? Why do we move in the way that we move, or where we're in it, but we're not in it? We're in it, but we're we probably might give forty percent instead of giving our whole a hundred percent to certain situations. Um. Yo, you wanna know what, Matt? Man, real quick. I feel like you know the answer to that. Hip hop. Not just hip hop. It's <laughs> deep. It's deeper than that. Like, it starts with them breaking up the, the black families, and okay. then they start playing. 
literally everything is intentional with with us, not by us. Yeah, not by us, but okay. So they break up the black family. So okay, you broke up a black a black family. That'll mean whatever you like. What? Why? Well, why? About, why all right, do you clip that person? So, so for if you like that person, for instance, like when because of something that might have happened a generation ago or two generations ago. I mean, think about what happened two generations ago. We're cooked from from that and the things they sprinkle in. All right, so they they take they take the black men away, right? The women are raising the families by themselves. We see it every day that this is this gender war shit that's going on on with us. That don't that didn't happen overnight, bro. That also adds into, oh, I'm not dealing with this, I'm not dealing with that. The the series of things that happened to our communities was very intentional. They don't want us to be, they didn't want us to be united, and it's, and it's working. Facts. And that's why I was going to say, we got to break habits. Okay. Was, this, we so have to, just like that. Yeah. Because that's how we break. We have the awareness. We don't have the awareness. Some of us. We have the awareness. Yeah, some have. I, I'm going to tell you, look. If and anybody I'm, had the awareness. The shit that was ha- would be happening in, in, in the streets wouldn't still be happening. I'm going to tell you right where I feel like niggas it's definitely like don't have tired. the awareness. And this is a big part on niggas and women when it come down to kids that's being made with no intentions of a real family. So I've seen a lot of women like literally keep a man's child. I'm not. Uh, this is not me saying, oh, what you should do if you were to get pregnant. But I've seen a lot of women keep a man's child and be like, I don't need a nigga. I can do this shit by myself. I, I like really on right. the mind of just if this nigga ain't gonna be there, I'm cool with that. Feel me? I'll figure it out myself. And there's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, it's like we have to stop putting ourselves in positions where. That's You're option. okay with that. Yeah, for sure. If you already have in your Ladies head, which a lot of women do, where they're already on the, I don't need a nigga for nothing. I will. I don't need this. I don't need that. I'm not saying you have to feed off of that, but are we not looking for a healthy family? Are we not looking for the end goal to be a healthy home? Women will really say, oh, rip. I don't need this. They about, I don't to, they about to combat you and say a healthy home. Don't need a dad. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that should be fucking with me because it's like, yo, part of you know that this nigga's not going to be what you want him to be. And you still continue to deal with him. Yeah. You still continue to allow him to, like, literally put you in a position where you can get pregnant. It's normalized now. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, bro, that shit is sick. One by the niggas that's literally sitting here with no regards of getting this woman pregnant and have no intentions of really being there, fucking with her, building a home with her. We got to stop that. And that's why I say it's mainly, yes, both both have to take accountability, but it's most of the men. Yeah. That got to. Because we already putting them in that position. Yeah. So they ain't really got much of a choice but to go ahead and deal with what we put them in. Exactly. So yeah, definitely got to stop with us. I just want women to be more aware and be like, "This is what he's going to put you in a space to be in, mm-hmm. and it's not okay." Like, you feel me? But yeah, men really, nigga. I, I'll be honest with you, niggas. We, we do have a problem with that shit. But not, I'm not saying yeah. us personally, but it's a lot of men just not even giving a fuck. Just yeah, and then vibes. Uh, you don't know it's not okay till you see that it's not okay. It's been okay for I don't know how many years. Yeah. Okay. Because that's what everybody's seen and been normalized. Well, it worked out kind, kind of like. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, just got to break out of that. I want us to. No funny shit, bro. Because it's like, I don't even like the fact that niggas is comfortable. And we ain't even want to see and act like niggas is not. Motherfuckers is literally comfortable with staying stagnant with that position that they put us in to be in broken homes yeah i mean yeah <clears throat> it's it's, un- it's unfortunate to be honest i mean uh even to the point where you got women that are like you know not for nothing jazz was saying that she wanted to be a mother before she was a wife and shit like that is kind of i mean it's her opinion and that's cool because you know she's she's given examples as to like what makes her comfortable with like like her opinion 
But like you said, it, it kills me that it's like, all right, why is the goal not making the circumstances ideal? Like husband, wife, children. Why why are we perpetuating whatever is normalized instead? So So I just I just know like we all have to do better. Um and what I say with women being that they are the ones that's going to carry the womb, like feel me? Um it's not flags you don't see. Like maybe you you wanna convince yourself and be like, Oh, well, how was I supposed to know? But I don't know. I feel like you could read a character enough to know, like, is he going to play that part or not? Mm-hmm. And yeah, if you feel like you gotta do shit to make him play the part, he ain't gonna play the part. Bro, motherfuckers be like, oh yeah, he said he's not gonna come to the baby shower, and you think like you gonna put together a baby shower and they're gonna show up? I like, feel me. You are dealing with someone that literally won't break bread with you early on, and you find it. Oh, he just that's how he is. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's how he is. That's like. what I'm saying. That's what I'm. <laughs> and when my point in referencing, like we used to just being broken families. Yeah. Like so, it's nothing. Or motherfuckers don't be saying what's wrong. Like we all got. I mean, it, it's not gonna happen overnight. But everybody gotta do better. Cause like the the goal for them is to keep us apart, and we <laughs> we ain't giving them a hard time with that goal, cause. <laughs> Niggas is literally having no no problems with mm-hmm. living how we already living. Feel me? And all you motherfuckers, you this 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 different. But all you motherfuckers that be like, ah, oh, don't don't people be in Target outfits and be Target listen, outfits. What I will say is that we have our own style. I'm I'm not against a motherfucker wanting to be front row at a game with chains on. <laughs> gee, like, feel me? This is our style. Motherfuckers jack our style. That's how they want to give it up. That's how we want to give it up. Like, stop trying to tell motherfuckers how they should be, what they spend their money on. I will say, if, if, as long as your priority straight, your family taken care of, let motherfuckers be who they want to be. Yeah. That's that's how I'm gonna end this on that. Let niggas be who they want to be. And honestly, even if this shit ain't straight, that ain't that ain't the life you live, bro. That ain't your life to live. That ain't your path to walk. Like, mm-hmm. I that that's why I be so confused. Like, I I don't be having much to say on certain topics when it comes to like Twitter and all that shit because I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> that should be dumb. That should be dumb. It's a what's the saying? What you what you eat? Don't make me <laughs> shit. Yeah. yeah. Right. But yeah, man, if you made it this far, make sure like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. More in store. Shout out to my brother Ant for announcing his fight, man. What you got to say? Oh. The fellas is on a rise. Them fellas is on a rise. But yeah, uh, Ant fight next month. God's will and rotation. Make sure you add that to your Apple Music. Nigga James drunk. Uh, that, 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 that nigga it. clocked out a long time ago. Super <laughs> clocked out. PTO on dubs. But yeah. yeah. That nigga getting A walls at this point. <laughs> That's Jigga. That's Blanquito, Coquito. <laughs> That's B Low. We out.